guys long time no see I actually feel kind of weird making this video because I'm kind of a little bit of camera shy right now um I did a lot of shopping this weekend if some of you follow me on Twitter you know that I've been shopping till I dropping well not really I don't think I announced it like too much on Twitter but anyways yeah so I did some serious serious shopping for accessories recently and yeah I'm just gonna combine everything together because, yeah. Anyways, so I went to Joyce Leslie recently. And if you guys don't know what Joyce Leslie is, Joyce Leslie is kind of like a Forever 21 mixed with like a, um, I don't know. It's like a Forever 21 mixed with like a Charlotte Rouge. It's kind of like one of the, those type of stores in a way. And they just have everything, but the only thing is, I kind of hate that store because it, everything is just, like, really bunched up together. There's, like, no room at all to move around in the store. So, yeah. Don't go in there. If you have one, don't go in there with a big purse because it's just a pain in the ass to move around. Anyways, so, I recently went to Joyce Leslie, and I picked up this purse. And I just thought this is going to be the prettiest purse for the spring and summertime. It's a bright yellow snakeskin kind of reptile um, purse. And it has the ha handles like this. And then it also has the straps. I'm probably most likely going to take off the straps because I'm not a big, like, strappy fan of purses. Like, I don't like the huge long straps. I don't know why. I prefer shorter handled bags over like big long straps so yeah I'd rather just hold it like this and I'll just carry it around my arm and just look fancy like that with it you know what I mean <laughs> and then I got this makeup bag because I've been needing a makeup bag and I bought this one I just thought it was really cool especially the color scheme because I love pink and purple and I love when turquoise is added to the color scheme of pink and purple just adds a little pop and yeah so I got that and obviously for an accessory haul um it's a must to go to forever 21 for accessories because uh, yeah hello it's forever 21 I only I used to shop at forever 21 a lot like for clothes and stuff but recently I haven't been like the biggest fan about like for it I just feel like everyone shops there now but I do like to go there occasionally especially to look at their um accessories because they have amazing accessories for like I don't know the fraction of any price so I just stuffed it on this big Victoria's Secret bag because I also got stuff in here that I'm going to show you I got this huge bag <laughs> and I just shoved everything in there because you know when you're at the mall you kind of like especially if you go through different stores you kind of like you know grab onto a lot of bags around the store you know around the mall and it's like you constantly get bags for every store and it's just like seriously this is like unnecessary I don't need all this like I only bought a couple things and I'm getting like these huge ass bags so when I'm at the mall I just stuck everything kind of like in the Victoria's Secret bag but anyways I'm rambling the first thing I got was this cuff here and it was 680 at Forever 21 again and why did I get this? I don't know. I just thought this would be really cool for a certain outfit. And this kind of reminds me of like the movie 300 or like the show Spartacus. As soon as my boyfriend saw it, he was like, what are you doing with that Spartacus like, bracelet? But I just really like that. I thought it would be cool to wear on the day that I would feel like looking like a gladiator or something. You know, I'll just throw on some gladiator shoes and throw on that cuff and then, you know, grab a spear and I'll be ready to go. Then I got this necklace, which I thought would be so cute, especially since, like, the whole tribal print is in style. It's just a nice, long necklace, and it just has this little purse, like I showed you. And I just think it's so cute, especially with that tribal, like, kind of inspired style um, print. I thought it would be really cute because I bought the cutest skirt, and I can't wait to share with you guys because, honestly, I am in love. Okay. Then I bought these earrings, and I just thought they were cute. Just to throw on on a day you want to look all nautical and stuff. I also got this ring. Then I also got these earrings, and I just really like them. Just to add like a pop of color to like say if you wear a neutral outfit. 
Especially with the magenta going on there. I really like magenta. And then I got these earrings, which I really like because they just kind of remind me of something that like our mothers wore back in like the 80s. Why? I don't know. But I just thought it would be fun, especially since it has kind of like the color blocking thing going on. Then I got these earrings, which I am in love because I kind of have a ring that would match this really good. So when I seen these earrings, I was like, oh, no, I have to pick these up. I got this bracelet. And it's just a stretch band bracelet. And it's kind of like tight on me in a way. But it also has like that gladiator feel. So like I said, I'm going to wear it on days that I have like a pair of gladiator shoes. And you know, grab my spear and get ready to rumble that day. So I got that. I don't even know why I bought that honestly. Like it didn't even really appeal to me. I really don't even know why I bought that because it, honestly in the store it didn't really appeal to me too much. But for some reason I still had it in my hand and then I ended up having to just to buy it. So whatever. Then I bought this ring and I am in love with this ring. It kind of looks like a 3D. It's like 3D in a way. And it's just a bunch of pyramids or whatever it is the case may be. But I was in love because of the structure and because it has rhinestones and every girl imaginable should be like in... What? What girl in her right mind wouldn't like rhinestones anyway? So, that's why I got it. Oh, and then I got a red bow ring. Which I am in love with the red one rather than the black one. But I still wanted them both. I also got... Oh. These earrings. And they just say love. And they're like a nice beigey, kind of pinky color. And I also bought a pair for my niece. Because she loves heart studded earrings. And I bought this ring which I am in love with. I love the detailing in this ring. If you look really closely, you see the butterfly. I don't know if it's going to show. But there's like a butterfly right there. There it goes. Like there's just a lot of print that's around it. And I just really love like the design in the ring. I just thought it's really nice and really different. I haven't seen anything like this, and it just looks really just fun. Fun for a night out. <laughs> I also picked up these earrings. And they're just black, kind of stone-hearted earrings. And they have, like, flowers inside them. Another pair of heart earrings, but these are, like, the pink ones, just like the black ones that I showed you. But I also got these earrings as well. I showed you the pink ones, but I also went and grabbed the green ones. I just thought these were so cute again for, you know, a pop-up color. Um, oh, I also got these belts. I also got four of these belts right here, and they were all $1.50. If you guys want pricing for these, I'll probably, like, list it down below where I'm showing you everything. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But I got four of these skinny belts, and I got one in like a neon, yeah, like a neon pink, a yellow, a blue, and a white. And I just thought these would be awesome for the spring and summertime because bright colors are definitely nice when there's nice weather. Especially when you like to wear like a neutral outfit or you just wearing, I don't know, like a basic white shirt or a black shirt or something like that. And you can just add like one of these belts and you like add a nice fun pair of colored heels and a fun pair of colored like earrings or so and like a nice nail polish color oh you look like I'm oh I think it would just bring out the outfit a lot more and just make you look more dressed up rather than just having like a plain day so yeah and what else I might as well just show you the things that I got from Victoria's Secret because it's not a lot and I'm not going to sit here and do like a um, haul on just like the four things that I bought there. At the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Mist. And that's what it looks like. This stuff smells amazing. While well, at least on me it does. I don't know about anybody else. So it smells good on me. I also got the new incredible um, perfume or whatever it is by Victoria's Secret. And this is also like the scented mist. And... That's what it looks like. And then I got the Sexy Little Things Nor, 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 Nyo, Nyo, Nor. You know what I'm trying to say. Whatever. 
And then the last thing that I bought was this face prime, makeup primer, and setting spray, which oh, I should use that right now. Like it doesn't stink, but it actually smells pretty good. Well, it doesn't have a real scent, but I don't know why, but my face feels really wet, and I'm not liking that because I don't like the wet. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so I bought this because I've been needing a setting spray. I've been dying to try one. Um, there's days that I've like go to um, Sephora and I'm like looking at the Scandinavia one, um, the Urban Decay one, and I'm looking at it like, uh, uh, I'm not paying that much for that, mm -mm, not right now. Um. So, I thought since this was only $12, I might as well just grab it because if I don't like it, then I can always just, I don't know, either return it or, I don't know, save it for someone who cares. <laughs> Next, I stopped at like a little, um, kind of like boutique type of area. I don't, not like boutique, but like, um, just like a store where they sell really cheapy accessories. And I was like, you know what, I might as well stop in there because they had earrings, like set of earrings, like three for five dollars. So, obviously... What am I going to do? I'm not going to pass up that sale. So, I grabbed some. I grabbed. And you guys are going to be amazed. Like, well, maybe not amazed. I don't know. Maybe if you guys are amazed. I don't know. Whatever. But, I got these. This pack of earrings. And they're just studded hearts. Like in white, a dark gray, and black, and you know that if these were even like at Forever 21 or something like that, these would have been like $5.80 for one pair. For one pair. One pair. And I got what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12? No. Oh, yeah. No. One, two, three, what? I can't even count. What the hell? I got six pairs of earrings. And I also got these, which are like the dots. Not like dots, they're circle ones. Also got these in the same colors. And then I got these earrings, which I really like, but I wish I had longer hair. I just feel like it would look better if my hair was longer or if my hair is like pulled back. So yeah, I got those three pair of earrings for $5. These earrings that I just thought were really cool. They're kind of like on the edgy side, but yet feminine, 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 Psst, yeah. And then I got these earrings, and I'm just like really in love with like the beading. They are pretty big, if you really look at them, they are really big, but I'm like in love with the beading. And they're actually, they're on the heavy side, but I, there's nothing that, <laughs> what can I talk today? Um, it's not as bad because you can just stick those little sticker things that they have so your ears don't like droop when you wear earrings. And last but not least, I went and bought these stud earrings, which I am in love with. They're just black and these, they look like rhinestones in a way, but they're actually not. They're like, kind of like jelly. Oh no, they are rhinestones. Oh, I thought they weren't rhinestones. I thought they were, in a way they're not and in a way they are. I don't know. They don't like glisten in a way like rhinestones. I don't know. They kind of remind me of like these jelly things, like the jelly textured um things that they sell. I don't know if you guys know what the hell I'm talking about, but I know what I'm talking about, so yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, guys, so that sums up my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know what there was too much to enjoy about. I don't even know. Uh, Whatever. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video and until then you guys all take care bye